Uh, this hurricane could be pretty bad for parts of Florida. Yeah, and it may not even make landfall before it creates some major problems on Florida's west coast. Right now, look at that. The winds up to 100 miles per hour. 24 hours ago, this was a ragged looking tropical storm with 45 mile per hour sustained winds. But this afternoon, you can see those tall clouds bubbling up around the center. So intensification continuing. This is the very definition of rapid intensification. Greater than 35 mile per hour wind increase over 24 hours. Watch this a category four hurricane likely by uh, seven o'clock on Wednesday or Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. This is approaching the Florida Gulf Coast. Here's the latest track. Now a major hurricane coming very, very close to Tampa and Tampa staying on the bad side of that the entire time. So storm surge in Tampa Bay could be as high as 10 feet. That would put parts of Tampa International underwater by uh, especially Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, but they'll have rough weather starting as early as Tuesday afternoon. Then the storm moves inland, and although the surface portion of this starts to drift to the east, some of that moisture does shift back over toward north and central Alabama. So there you see the actual forecast path. The cone takes that low potentially all the way as far west as maybe Talladega County, Calhoun County or Etowah County. I think there will be some influence around here. It's primarily from rain and we'll talk about how that's going to impact the seven day forecast around here down the road.